What's going on guys, boy TG, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to take a look back at Game 7 to the Stanley Cup Final. So, in case you guys don't know, Game 7 is tomorrow um, at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, if you live up east, it will be on at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you're living in Edmonton and if you're watching the game in Edmonton, it should come on at... 6 o'clock p.m. Um, but anyway, we're going to take a look back at Game 7 to the Stanley Cup Finals. This is going to be a Game 7 tomorrow night between the Edmonton Oilers and Florida Panthers. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that some of these games, Game 7s, some of these Game 7s have happened before I was born. So I won't be able to say too much about those Game 7s. I'll try my best to... Um, talk about those game sevens of the Stanley Cup final but I won't be able to say too much about them um, like I will with the other one so yeah so we're going to start off with the 1942 Stanley Cup final between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Detroit Red Wings the only team to come back from a 3-0 series deficit and win the Stanley Cup was the 1942 Toronto Maple Leafs I'm pretty sure that's been established already but I'm just refreshing it if you in your minds as you will so the Toronto Maple Leafs made an incredible comeback they were down 3-0 in the best of seven series against the Detroit Red Wings of course it was a original six back then um and First NHL team to come back, win the Stanley Cup after losing the first three games. We could see the Edmonton Oilers do that tomorrow night. I'm not guaranteeing it. Some of you may say, well, Oilers guarantee. In my mind, I'm still thinking the Panthers could possibly pull this one out. That's in my mind. But yet again, I did doubt the Oilers uh, throughout this playoff. So anything can happen. It's, it can go either way. But... The Oilers could possibly be the second NHL team in NHL history to come back and win the Stanley Cup after being down three games to none. That is, if uh, Sergei Bobrovsky doesn't put on a fantastic performance and has at least a shutout in the game. Um, and this comeback remains one of the greatest moments in sports history. So, if you're a huge hockey fan like I am, you should already know that. And they pretty much said it uh, on NHL Network and... Um, other places you will hear it from. 1950 Stanley Cup Final. Detroit Red Wings, New York Rangers. Still original six. Um, I think, or at least I think it was still the original six era back then. Not really sure. Uh, so the Detroit Red Wings, they won 4-3 in double overtime. And Pete but Bob Bando, hopefully I pronounced that last name right. Uh, he scored the game-winning goal, uh, marking... It, the first time a Stanley Cup final was decided in double overtime. So we could see that here. And it was, like I mentioned, first uh, Stanley Cup final decided in double overtime of Game 7. So tomorrow night, we could see this Game 7 go to a double overtime. Just like that. If it does go into overtime, it probably won't be uh, going to three overtimes or, well, or so. It'll probably just be either double overtime or... Uh, just over time, but we'd like to see a lot of hockey either way. So either way, we don't care. All right, 1954 Stanley Cup Final, Detroit Red Wings and Montreal Canadiens. Fun fact, the Montreal Canadiens have the most Stanley Cups uh, in franchise history. So the NHL team with the most Stanley Cups, as you don't already know, is the Montreal Canadiens. So, yeah, I think they had... Hmm, I think it was... I think they had like 24 Stanley Cups won, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on that. If I am wrong on that, can one of you guys kindly reply that in the comments saying that I was wrong. But I think it's 24 Stanley Cups they won, if I'm not mistaken. But if I'm wrong, one of you guys can reply in the comments to see how many it was because I'm not sure. But I, know, but I do know they have the most Stanley Cups in franchise history. So Tony Leswick scored the... Game winning goal in overtime to give the Red Wings another dramatic Game 7 victory. So the Red Wings took home the Stanley Cup right there. And 1964 Stanley Cup Final, Toronto Maple Leafs, Detroit Red Wings. Uh, another Game 7 between the two teams. Two original six teams, by the way. Uh, the Maple Leafs secured their third consecutive Stanley Cup with a dominating shutout in Game 7. So... 
probably Johnny Bauer was playing for the team then. Um, or Red Kelly, because I think Red Kelly, he played for Detroit and Toronto. So he would have been on either one of those teams. But yeah, so Maple Leafs would have shut out victory. They won 4 nothing. They won their third consecutive Stanley Cup at that time. Of course, we all know the last Stanley Cup for the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, was in 1967. All right, 1971 Stanley Cup final between the Montreal Canadiens and my Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, the Canadiens won 3-2, and Henry Rouchard scored the game-winning goal in the game. And Ken Dryden, he had a great performance uh, and helped the Canadiens clinch uh, the Stanley Cup. And Ken Dryden also won the Consmite Trophy that year. Of course, the Consmite Trophy was first handed out in 1965, if you don't already know. Um, so it was first handed out in 1965, but Ken Dryden took home the Consmite Trophy that year. He was probably one, he was one of the best Montreal Canadiens goalies. So it was him, uh, Yakis Planty, Patrick Raw, and other great Montreal Canadiens goalies. So, yeah. All right, 1987 Stanley Cup Final. Um, Oilers won 3-1 against the Philadelphia Flyers. And Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier led the way for the Edmonton Oilers. They secured their third Stanley Cup in four years. And they were a dynasty team back then. So you guys were born. Well, I'm not going to get into that. But, um, yeah. So Oilers win their third Stanley Cup, I think. In total, they have like five Stanley Cups won. If they do win tomorrow, it will be the sixth Stanley Cup in franchise history. But I think in total, they have five Stanley Cups. And the last time they won the Stanley Cup was in 1990, if I'm not mistaken. So, Yvonne Hextall won the Consumite Trophy that year in 1987, the year that the Edmonton Oilers won the Stanley Cup. And I think that's the first time... Uh, away team has won. Well, a player from a away team has won a consummate trophy. So, yeah. 1994 Stanley Cup Final. Um, New York Rangers taking on the Vancouver Canucks, which I thought this was going to be the year that we see both these teams in Stanley Cup Final had it not been for the Oilers and Panthers eliminating uh, the teams. That's why I had on my playoff bracket. I had the Canucks taking on the Rangers in the Stanley Cup Final this year. Uh, at the start of Stanley Cup playoffs. But anyway, uh, the Rangers won 3-2. to two. They ended their 54-year drought. Uh, at that time, the last time they won the Stanley Cup was in 1940. 1940. So, yeah. That was, at that time, that was the last time uh, they won the Stanley Cup. So, they ended their 54-year drought. Uh, and Mark Messier uh, led the team to... The Stanley Cup. He was team captain in the New York Rangers. He's won six Stanley Cups in his career. Five with the Oilers. Of course, one being with the uh, Rangers. So, yeah. And Mark Messier guaranteed a game six victory in the Eastern Conference Final against the Devils. Um, and then they won game seven. Uh, Stefan Mateau with the goal. And then, of course, they faced the Canucks in the Stanley Cup Final. And they win the Stanley Cup. And Brian Leach won the Constantine Trophy that year. For the New York Rangers. So, yeah. 2001 Stanley Cup Final. Colorado Avalanche. New Jersey Devils. The Devils heading into the 2001 Stanley Cup Final. Were already the defending champs that year. Of course, they won the Stanley Cup in 2000. Um, where Jason Arnett scored the overtime game winning goal. Uh, for the Devils to win the Stanley Cup that year. Um, so... Yeah, and Ray Bork had his first Stanley Cup one. He ended a 22-year drought. Of course, we all know that call from Gary Thorne. And after 22 years, Raymond Bork and then Joe Sakic gives Raymond Bork the Stanley Cup, and he lifts it over his head. And Patrick Roth took home the Constantine Trophy that year. So, yeah, so tough Game 7 loss for the Devils. They were looking forward to going back-to-back. -back. Uh, Stanley Cup champs, but it doesn't happen. Two years later, we will see the Devils back in the Stanley Cup final, and they will be taking on the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. I wish they would have kept that team name. I wish they would have kept the logos. I think they are bringing back the logos uh, this season. 
uh, Anaheim Ducks. Of course, they got their team name from the Mighty Ducks movies, which that was my favorite hockey movie growing up as a kid. I loved Mighty Ducks. That was my favorite hockey movie. So that's where the Anaheim Ducks got their name from. They got it from that movie. Anyway, New, New Jersey Devils uh, won 3 nothing. So Marty Brodeur had a shutout victory won, and the Devils won their third Stanley Cup in just nine years. Of course, their first one was in 1995, if I'm not mistaken. And John Sebastian Gajer, hopefully I pronounced that right, he won the Conn Smythe Trophy that year. And another player from a away team, or at least a losing team, I would say, I should say that instead of a away team, because a player on a away team can win the Conn Smythe Trophy and win the Stanley Cup. So I should say a player on a losing team has taken home the Conn Trophy. 2009 Stanley Cup Final. So the Red Wings is kind of like Avalanche and Devils. Red Wings entering the 2009 Stanley Cup Final were the defending champs after beating the Pittsburgh Penguins in the 2008 Stanley Cup Final. One year later, we will see these teams back in the Stanley Cup Final in 2009. Uh, Maximum Taub. Talbot scored both the goals uh, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, and Mark Andre Fleury made a crucial save in the final seconds to secure the Game Seven victory. Of course, Penguins held on for the two-one win. They won the Stanley Cup. Gary Malkin took home the Cosby Trophy that year, and he's probably uh, one of the best NHL players of this generation. I'm just gonna say it right there. Gary Malkin, one of the best players of this generation. And this was the first time that the Penguins won the Stanley Cup in the Sidney Crosby era. So, of course, the Ovechkin and Crosby um, era, the one that we all, including myself, grew up watching, um, that era was, like, so fun to watch. And I think in Game 2 of the 2009 Stanley Cup playoffs, this has been the first round, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, both Alex Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby had a hat trick in that game. That was an unreal game to watch. So, really enjoyed it that year. And um, it was nice seeing the Penguins and Red Wings back in the Stanley Cup Final. Of course, the Penguins winning that year after losing to the Red Wings in their home barn in 2008. 2011, 2011 Stanley Cup Final will feature the Boston Bruins and Vancouver Canucks. The uh, Bruins had a 4 nothing shutout win. Tim Thomas was... Sensational in that game. Um, and he also won the Constantine Trophy that year. And this was the Bruins' first Stanley Cup win at that time since 1972. And Brad Marchand and Patrice Bergeron scored two goals each to lead the Bruins to that game seven victory. Of course, Brad Marchand is still around. He's still playing with the Boston Bruins. And we all know Patrice Bergeron, he's retired. And Sedano Char. Uh, he led the Bruins to that Stanley Cup, and he's retired now, so it's just really different on that Boston Bruins team. Eight years later, we will see the Bruins back in the Stanley Cup final. Uh, they will be they took on the St. Louis Blues, and the Blues won four to one. They took home their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Uh, capping off of a remarkable turnaround from being last place in January at the start of that season. Uh, it's kind of reminds me of the, how far the Edmonton Oilers have gone. So, of course, um, the Oilers, they were doing bad at the start of the 2023-2024 season. Um, they fired Jay Woodcroft. They brought in Chris Comblock. They went on a 16-game point, sixteen game win streak, if I'm not mistaken, 16-game win streak. They clinched second place in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So, if the Oilers can cap off this comeback victory tomorrow night, um, then it will be unreal. And that will remind me of how the Blues won uh, their first Stanley Cup against the Boston Bruins. But it just takes, for the Oilers, it just takes belief. And I'm going to say this right now. I'll say it tomorrow in my podcast as well. The pressure is on both teams. Let me say that again. The pressure is on both teams. And I'll tell you why the pressure is on both teams. It's on the Panthers because they just choked the 3-0 series lead. I thought it was going to turn out like the NBA Finals. And the Panthers winning five like the Boston Celtics won in five against the Dallas Mavericks. P.S. Shout out to uh, Jason Tatum. Really happy that he won um, the NBA championship. 
he really deserved it. But anyway, um, I thought it was going to turn out like that. Instead, the Oilers, they just kept fighting. They just kept standing in there and, um, yeah, and then not backing down. So, if the Oilers do win tomorrow against the Panthers, that's going to be so suckish for the Panthers because they choked that 3 0 series lead. They had a chance to win in game four. They had a chance to win in game five. Well, Game four, they got blown out 8-1. to They had a chance to win in game five. They tried to put up a fight against the Oilers in game five. They ended up failing. They had a chance to win in game six. And we will see them fall short again to the Edmonton Oilers. Now we got a game seven on our hands tomorrow night. And the Panthers will be playing in their home barn in front of their home fans. And if they can't pull this out... This game seven victory out is Sergei Bobrovsky can't have a dominant shutout win if he can't put out an outstanding performance and the Panthers can't step up, then that's going to feel embarrassing for the Florida Panthers if they can't find a way to prevail from his 3-0 um, choke and win the Stanley Cup in front of their home fans. So that's why I say the pressure is on the Florida Panthers if they can't win tomorrow. The pressure is on the Oilers because... We all doubted them at the start of the season. We all doubted them at the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We didn't think they were going to go far. We didn't think they were going to be in the Stanley Cup final. They believed in themselves. Um, They prevailed. They defied all the eyes. They were down 3-0. Have a chance to make history. Becoming the second NHL team to come back from a 3-0 series deficit and win the Stanley Cup. Not only win this... um, the Stanley Cup after being down 3-0, but they can also take home their sixth Stanley Cup um, in franchise history and be the first Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup since the 1993 Montreal Canadiens got it done against the LA Kings. I think Wayne Gretzky was on that team then because we all know that he was traded from the Oilers to the Kings. So I think Wayne Gretzky was on the Kings then. Um, So yeah. So that's why I say both the pressure is on both teams. I will say that tomorrow in my podcast or at least try to be short and concise about it um, since I already just told you guys here. Anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, let me know what is your favorite Game 7 down in the comments. Uh, who do you think is going to win tomorrow night between Edmonton and Florida? I'm still sticking with Panthers. I don't know why I have doubted the Oilers so far in this playoffs. Um... But the Oilers seem to um, pull away with the wins. I know some of my friends, I was talking about this, some of my friends, they say the Oilers are going to win. For some reason, I'm still sticking with Panthers. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but we'll just see what happens tomorrow night. I mean, it should be a great Game 7. Uh, first Game 7 in the Stanley Cup Finals since 2019. That was when the Blues won it against the Bruins. So, yeah. But let me know what is your favorite Game 7 uh, down in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video hit it with a like hit it with a subscribe button we are on the road to 400 subscribers and i'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, my hockey talk tg podcast subscribe to that if you have not already and make sure you're following that on spotify amazon music iHeartRadio, apple Podcasts, and more of your local podcast stream platforms god first as always be blessed Have a nice day, and I can't wait for Game 7 tomorrow. And hopefully you guys uh, watch Game 7 tomorrow because it's going to be a great Game 7 as always. And peace.